Hi, this is BJ Fogg. I'm going to explain to you in about two minutes my behavior model, and here's how it goes. Behavior happens when three things come together at the same moment. There's motivation to do the behavior, there's ability to behavior, and there's a prompt. The prompt is the cue, the thing that says, do this behavior now. And you can visualize this model in two dimensions. Along this axis, you have level of motivation for the behavior. And this is a range from high to low. So let's say the behavior we're talking about here is donate to save the reef foundation in Hawaii. You may really love the Hawaiian Islands and the reefs, and your motivation can be really high. Uh, or maybe it's low or anywhere along this range. Next, you have the ability to do the behavior. And again, this is a range. And on this side, it's high ability. But I'm going to write it up this way, easy to do. So let's say the foundation is asking for just 10 bucks. It's really easy to do. Or say you're really rich, so it's no big deal if you're donating $50,000. And on this side, hard to do. And it can be anywhere in this range. So let's imagine somebody really loves the Save the Reef Foundation. It's easy to do. They're right here. When prompted, they will do the behavior. In contrast, if somebody doesn't like the foundation, for whatever reason, and it's hard for them to do, they're right here. When prompted, they do not do the behavior. Now, there's a trade-off or a substitution relationship between motivation and ability, and this curved line shows that relationship. And if somebody is anywhere above this line when prompted, they do the behavior. If they're anywhere below the line when prompted, they don't. So that's how behavior works in the behavior model. It's when somebody who has a combination of motivation and ability is prompted to do behavior. If they're below the line, they don't. And that's the fog behavior model.